It sounds unreal. Nearly half the population infected with swine flu, but the government believes that could happen. That has federal officials leaning on drug makers to hurry up with the vaccine and somehow make it available as early as next month. It's a plausible scenario that we need to be ready for. According to a newly released presidential advisory report, between 60 and 120 million Americans could get sick with the swine flu this fall and winter. Another 30 million could be infected with the virus but not show symptoms. As many as 1.8 million people could be hospitalized and 90,000 Americans could die, more than twice the deaths of a normal flu season. I would think that this is a, a serious report. That's a wake-up call if we haven't been awakened yet. U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, speaking at the CDC Monday, said this isn't the flu we're used to. The pattern of infection is unusual. Uh, it hasn't yet affected seniors. Instead, swine flu deaths are more likely to occur among children and young adults. And in laboratory tests, scientists learn something new. The test animals easily spread the virus when they were placed in the same cage, but not when they were placed in a separate adjacent cage. The lesson, the swine flu appears to be spread more by direct contact, not through the air. I hope that we don't see an enormous number of deaths in the fall and winter, in, in children in particularly, but I can say that we're working hard to do what we can to minimize the impact that the virus has. At the University of Kansas, 47 students are sick, up from 30 students this weekend. They're now isolating these students and moving their roommates in residence halls, in sororities and fraternities, and off-campus housing. We're really seeing it's pretty widespread, so you really can't be uh, sit back and say, well, I live in an apartment off campus, I'm safe. When the vaccine is available, it will be two shots separated by three weeks, and it will not be until after the second shot that a patient is protected.